Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Grotech Cold Forged. So, last episode, we picked up a Warhammer uh, and another Urban Mech, which is awesome. Um, the Warhammer we're going to use to replace our Bushwhacker in our main lance, and the Urban Mech we need for our third lance that we're planning on making with uh, Urban Mechs and um, uh, Cattle Masters. So, we just need one more, one more Cattle Master. We can build that lance. So, today, um, I figured since we're doing okay, Let's uh, take on a difficult contract today. Let's go and do Incomplete Intelligence. Now, it's against Clan Fire Mandrel um, and two and a half stars, or two and a half skulls. So we're going to go in. It's a destroy base mission, so I'm hoping that it's not too bad. So let's negotiate this sucker out. We're going to go for full salvage this time. If it gets hairy, we'll pull out, just because we have to manage our cash here a little bit. But uh, we're going to accept this. And we'll swap out our secondary lance for our main lance. So I am looking forward to getting that uh, um, Warhammer up and running. I've always been a big fan of the Warhammers. Alright, let's deploy and get this sucker done. Alright, here we go. Uh, familiar map. Okay, let's hope there's no reinforcements. So we're going to reserve. And they're doing the same thing. That's fine. Yeah, let's start moving over here. Okay, second mech. Still don't know what they are. Weight wise, that is. 55 tonner. Okay. These guys I definitely want to pull away from the turrets. What do you need? Roger. Yeah, it'll be nice if when this when this bushwhacker's got a lot more armor. It's becoming a favorite target for the opponents now. Another fifty five tonner, which means they're probably gonna have reinforcements. So we're going to use this hill and this slight hill here as cover. Try, try and hold the fight down in here or in the ravine, somewhere over here, I think. Um, it's reserve. So we got two mediums, an assault turret. Waiting for order. Yeah, let's get some eyes on early. Let's go. Got another guy down in the valley there. Wolverine 7H, okay. Not so bad. What's the weight of this guy down here? Don't know yet. Commander. We can get eyes on him too though. Full speed. So let's do that. Fire started 2C, okay. A little bit better chances on this guy, so let's just fire everything on him. Looks like we got the tag, did we? Maybe not. Nope. Enemy detected. Yeah, good luck with that. Is this, what's this? Uses Artemis and S to fire S or M's. It's a royal mech, great. Yeah. Got it. No shooting, just right. Yeah, I didn't want to end up in the open here, but we need to go, I think, on these guys. It's basically a free shot, so let's fire on this guy. Copy that. Wow. Really? Damn it, I 
Yeah, I'm pissed too. I appreciate you moving forward though. So it's most likely this light guy and then three mediums. I say most likely, but we'll see. It's a pretty good movement on that guy. All right, what's the chance to hit on these guys? 35, 29, let's just pot shot this guy. Well, we got 11 turns. Let's just, just in case they have reinforcements. I'd save it for better chances. Uh-oh. Well, they got a turret over there. Probably ER uh, PPCs. All right, let's pummel this guy. Okay, at least we got the tag on him. That looked like an arm hit to me. Nope, torso hit. Another Wolverine. Light damage, Commander. Same one, too. Okay. Yeah. Wolverine pieces, anybody? Uh, we in the trees there? Looks like... Location confirmed. Alright, let's knock this guy down. Ooh. Yeah, it's not gonna save you, buddy. Get on this guy still. Um, yeah. Confirmed. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Oh, yeah. He's got an AC-20 coming in a minute. I don't think this is the best move in the world, but we definitely want to get shots on this guy, so we're going to do it. Okay, good. Totally worth it. Unless I die, then it won't be. 75 tonner, nice. That just means it's highly li- ooh. That just means it's highly li unlikely that we'll get reserves, but you never know. I see that. Ah, they want us to reveal ourselves to the turrets. Ah, crap. Well. Hey, Commander, I'm taking some hits, huh? Yeah, I see ya. Huh. Let's do this. Engage. Let's try and pull this guy out of the battle. Huh. Okay. Orders. This guy thought he could run away. Where do you think you're going, buddy? Ooh. 
Okay, at least he's unsteady. Target acquired. Oh, torso hit, eh? Thought we were hitting him in the back, but I guess not. Oh well. Yeah. Not much you can really do about that. Um, let's move over here. On it. Keeping our distance. Let's see if we can get rid of this guy. Take this. Someone's going down. <laughs> okay. See what their heavy does. Ryokin, eh? These mechs look so cool. And pack off a lot of firepower, too. Yep, a whole lot of firepower. Reporting. Shit. Heavy damage. LB2X's LRM15's, eh? Can I get in front of you? Nope. Wow, he's got three left in the CT. And 57, 44. So it's multi-target. And we'll go this way. Ah. No, I think we're going to do it this way. Just to make sure we get A and B. Let's fire. Alright, that guy's gone. Oh yeah, EC20 hit. Nice. Come on, stay up. I'm under heavy fire. Ready for orders. All right. Uh, oof. Yeah. I got a plan. Got a plan, Stan. That should be it for him. No, apparently not. I'm Officer Dan. I'm the man. This guy's about to get 20 years in the can for stealing the Golden Ann. Oh, didn't even make him unstable. What do you need? Damn it. Understood. Let's just fire straight on this guy. Maybe we can make him unstable. Alright, three hits. Nice. Somebody's a stick. All right, what's this guy doing? Yep, chose the right target, thank you. Nice instability, however, problem is that splash damage doesn't really do it against this guy. Let's fire on this guy. Uh, 
That's going to make his life hell in the next turn. That's more hits than I thought they'd get. Barely hit, Commander. Yeah, you're still hit, buddy. Yes, Commander. How do we want to do this? See what the Wolverine does. I'm giving it to him because I want to use the Gauss and the two ER larges on the uh, Ryokin. If we can get all of them. Let's uh, do this. And this. And this. And fire everything. Okay. I'm on it. Two leg shots. Do we get the leg? It's going down anyway. Okay. Um... Finish this guy up. Affirmative. Wow, he took the 105. Yeah, he had it. <laughs> it's like that's enough of that. Okay, I want to max salvage off this other guy. So let's do this. Um, what's he got left here? 16. Gonna go for a leg shot and fire. Okay, we got it. Let's see what he does. Yeah, definitely pretty cool looking if we can get this guy. Ah, you turned away. Okay, there's the front. See if we can get the other leg. Oh, there's another knockdown. That's two hits in the pilot. Okay. Maybe we just let him get back up again. Well, we'll let Hickory try and target that leg. That was a head hit. How bad was a head hit? 25, significant. What do you need? I can't really see you. I'll do what I can. So let's target this leg. Not a good chance to hit, but we'll take it anyway. Actually, if we go Still, still the same, eh? Ah well, I was hoping for a better chance to hit if we do an offensive push, but... Firing. Okay, getting close to killing that leg. Down to 57. Good to go. Okay. Okay, go after the leg. Even with the wrecking, he's got lots of armor. Do we get it? There we go. Nice. Receiving you. Now, which one do we start with? Got to start on turrets here. Let's get into here. MMLs. Didn't do very much last time. This is the guy with the ERPPC, so we're going to fire on him. 
Not a whole lot, but... We got a lot more coming in a second. My armor's getting stripped off. 178, eh? Should have enough for that. Dump these guys in there. Yep. Okay, that's that threat gone. Still no sign of reinforcements. Okay. Get right on this guy. Fire everything. Order. Yeah, we don't got quite enough juice to get right on that guy. Can't get the wrecking ball on this thing either. Well, let's get over here. Max out our, our evasion here. Hit this guy. Okay, Hickory. Yep. Confirm. Put all three on this turret. I'm taking the shot. Nice shooting. Now I should be able to split it up with cold metal and deal this enough damage to finish these guys. Well, at least the two front turrets, anyway. I think this overall was a pretty good mission. So this guy got left. And this guy. So let's multi-target this out. Just to, well, we should hit with everything. There we go. I'm just splitting the weapons up in case we miss with one. Nice. Yeah, I'll start this turret off. What's it got? Larger mediums. Wow, he hit the plasma rifle. Well, that's amazing. Waiting for orders. Let's get right on him. Just going for the evasion. Not really for the better chances to hit. It's okay, we missed with one of the medium lasers anyway. Because, you know... 99% chance to hit equals one miss. Understood. Moving fast. See if you can finish this sucker up for me. How much have I got left? Yeah, let's fire everything. Just in case. Learned my lesson over the over the past little while. One less turret. Sure is. Let's finish this sucker up. Go home. Alright, what do we got here? Medium, large, medium, large. 150 and 150. So let's do Warlord. And let's fire on. It's 200. It's, ah, well. Let's just shoot on this guy. I could have probably multi targeted and got them both, but does it really matter? Probably not. All right, smash this guy down. Yeah, you didn't get a kill, you mean. You didn't miss, though. There it is, folks. 
All right, let's see what we get out of this sucker. All right, plus 35%, so not bad. Should easily cover our repairs, which really isn't a whole lot. I mean, the Zeus has got a bit, Shadowhawk's got a bit, Wolverine's got a bit, but not much. All right. So we do have Rodkin parts. Nice. We got a Firestar 2C part. Should we take one? I mean, we can finish the mech off now. We might as well. Can't take the rest, though. Uh, ER Clan, ER Medium Lasers would be nice. 35 damage for 15 heat. It's pretty good. Especially with the range. So those are options. Clan LRM 15s. We're not really using the LRMs right now, but we might in the lighter lances, so maybe. Ultra AC5. That's just a regular one. Clan Indosteel, Clan XL, probably take that. Um, big Fusion Core for cash. Double heat sinks we do need. Um, Clan Artemis system. Eh, it's a lot lighter than a regular Artemis, but I don't think we need it right now. Um, hmm. Let's start stocking up on stuff, because we're definitely going to need these. Uh, case, I don't know. Yeah, let's just go this route. I don't know, we're starting to lack on weapons too, though. These would kind of be nice. I'll tell you what, let's just take these for this for this round. We'll have another fire starter 2C, which will be nice. Um... Yeah, let's just go this route. So we got one, two, three, four Ryokin parts. Nice. And two Wolverine parts. Two LBX AC2s. Yeah, we'll get one of the fusion cores. Nice. Not bad. Alright. Improved shooting. Nice. 100,000 in repairs. Yeesh. A little more than I thought we were going to get, but we did take a pounding for our, from a lot of the guys, so... Yeah, um, let's have a look at the mech bay real quick. So the reason why I'm taking the Clan Ando and the Clan Ferris, uh, Feral Fibrous, is because I know shortly, oh look, we got another engine too. Um, with our heavier mechs, in order to max out the weaponry, weaponry and stuff and give us some good, uh, um, a good overall uh, loadout, we're gonna need lighter, like less slot Pharaoh and less slot um, Ando steel. So that's why I'm taking those now. Uh, it's nice to have those in stock so that when we start to build mechs, we'll have the ability to be able to just drop it on and not have to worry about trying to get them later. Okay, so we got a lot of good stuff off this guy. We're just going to strip the equipment and we'll repair it. 84,000. Let's confirm that. So we pretty much spent whatever we got, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, that's such is life. Uh, the Blackjack, let's have a look at this. Um, we did leave, if I'm not mistaken, was it this mech? What mech was I thinking of? One of the mechs we left in the Artemis system. Oh, it was the Bushwhacker. Right? If I'm not mistaken, yeah, we did. I'm liking the Gauss Rifle loadout, so this is, what, a ton and a half? Yeah, we're going to pull this out. What can we put in this guy here? Now, do we have, um, what do we have here we can use? Ooh. This thing. We're running a little hot, so that's going to help out for sure. Let's drop that in. And then we got what? Half, one ton left over. What else can we use? Wait, this is half a ton? It is. Holy shit. Pardon my language, but that's pretty awesome. Um, did, we get a t did we get an energy TTS? I thought we did. Did we pick up one? Or did we use it on something else? Watchdog Suite. That's a ton and a half. We'd have to lose half a ton of somewhere. I mean, I guess we could pull half a ton of armor off the back since we're not really going to be in close. Oh, wait a minute. Guardian ECM is one and a half. Watchdog Suite is one and a half. So let's change these around. Oh, that's only like one slot too. So that's going to give us another plus one accuracy with this guy. Plus one defense, sensor range, sight range. Reduce signature on enemy sensors. So if he's staying way back, they might not be able to see him. So that's cool too. 
So we still have a ton left over. I mean, I could just drop in a normal heat sink that'll make up for running and stuff, but I don't know. Uh, I really like the way this guy's loaded out right now. Or we could throw in the defense gyro. But we need the X, we need the uh, thing here. Um, one ton. What can we throw in for a ton? We have a tag or something? A pod. Narc. No, we don't really have anything for one ton. What happened to all our tags? Am I just thinking that we had some and we don't? Probably. Um, one ton. What can we put in for a ton? Small pulse or something just to have as a point blank defense? We have. We don't have any missile points or laser points. We do have one on each arm. We can put in small clan small pulse on each arm. Or we can't, just one. ER small clan, we could put in two if we wanted to, if we had them. Um, that's just going to add extra heat though if we start firing them. Got to use this guy somewhere too. Um, I don't know. What do we else do we have in equipment? Well, we could pull out the patchwork materials. Right? We don't need them on this guy anymore. So let's do that. Let's pull out the patchwork materials. And then let's add a quarter ton of armor. So it'll be like one, two, three, four, like that. Yeah, that's going to increase the survivability. It's uh, making our heat sinking out way more, way better, um, way more efficient. So I'm liking the way this is loaded out now. So let's confirm this. We did need to get that guy fixed up, so that was good. Uh, Blackjack, I think I'm pretty happy with the way this guy's loaded out right now. He's been operating fairly, fairly well, so we'll leave that. Phoenix Hawk, this is the one we've always had a lot of problems with. Let's see what else we can what else we can do with this guy. It's just that he doesn't have like he's got four laser points, and that's it. Like, what can you do with this guy, really, right? Um, Regular, we got a double heat sink fusion core in this guy. So his heat sinking is pretty good. Um, can we increase the laser firepower? That's the question. NSS, we could put an XL engine in this guy and go from medium lasers to medium pulse lasers. Or we can just swap out this one. I think that's probably the best bet, adding an extra 10 damage. There's not much, this guy's kind of an end of the line chassis, it's really, there's not much we can really do with him right now. I mean we could add, eh, we could add the uh, patchwork materials we took out of the other guy and get a t one more ton and put another heat sink in, but I don't think it's really that worth it. He's got the breaching cockpit, cockpit. He's got this guy. Um, yeah, no, I think this guy is pretty much maxed out. I mean, we could turn him into a melee mech. That's the other thing. We could turn him into the melee mech for the medium lance. So if we do... We could pull out, because we can use the weapon mount el elsewhere. Put in defensive gyro. Leave the NSS in there. Take out the TTS energy. Maybe we should do that. Supercharger's not really going to help out too much. Let's see what we can do here. Let's pull the weapon mount out. Pull out the large laser. And the other, this one here. We'll leave these two mediums in for now. Just in case. So now we need an upper arm. Uh, lower arm, hand, here we go. Um, TTS plus energy can probably come out of this guy. As more, most likely we can pull out the double heatsink core too, which we can use somewhere else because this is being wasted on this guy right now. So let's do that. Let's pull, let's leave these heatsinks. Let's pull out this double heatsink. Um, let's pull out this core 
and let's put in a bigger core if we've got one. That was a 240. We've got a 260 here we could put in. That's going to give us a bit more speed. This is uh, 265 as opposed to, what was the speed on this guy? 250, marginally better. This guy's a lot more though in weight, right? 18 and a half tons and this is 16 and a half. It's only two more tons. But let's start cranking in all the stuff we need to do damage with here. So defense gyro we should probably put in. Uh, leg spike boots we want in this guy. So let's do this. And this. Actually we can leave the heat sink over here. Um, spike fist. Let's drop that in. Uh, we want the supercharger. Angel ECM gives us defense against being hit, reduced signature, reduced visibility. It's definitely going to be better than this one. Let's put the angel in this guy. Let's put the supercharger in this guy. And the supercharger is not what? Does it got to be in the CT? Yeah, it does. That's fine. Um, spiked helmet, incre uh, increased melee damage. Uh, what else do we have? Not a lot, I don't think. Got another NSS we still need to use somewhere. Um, not much else here. Still lacking in a few things here. Um, I guess it's my fault. I really haven't been taking anything melee wise, so so we could go this route. Then let's. We don't have any. Uh, what's our what's our melee here now? Base damage 45, 33. Not a whole lot, is it? But. That being said, if we do this, um, let's go with actually this medium laser back on this side, this medium laser on this side. So it'll be four mediums, and then we can just add like a heat sink or something. Let's grab the patchworks. Actually, let's put this one in the head. And then, like a double heat sink. Put our double heat sink back in here. So, how are we doing here? 45, 44. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Now, do we have more double heat sinks? We do. So, we can pull out another regular heat sink and put another double in. Oh, that's a clan double. Let's, we don't want to do that one. We want to use the regular one on this guy. So that's really good heat sinking on this guy now. Uh, can be firing all those lasers as he's moving in and then using the melee attack close up to destabilize people. So let's try that. See how that works. And as we get more melee gear, uh, we'll start dropping it on this guy. Um, yeah, we'll look for some melee stuff for his, like another arm, like another spike fist or something. Some more leg spike boots, some stuff that we can drop on this guy. So let's 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 confirm this. All right. So now all we got to do is manage our tasks. So we want the main lance back, I think, first, or do we? Yeah, I think the next mission is going to be a main lance mission. So let's do this. Uh, where is our main guys here? Let's get the warhammer up as well. And then we want the Wolverine up here. And where is the... Oh, the Shadowhawk's right here too. That's 10 days as well, eh? So I guess that's going to have to wait. Where's the Bushwhacker? Down here, two days. So Warhammer goes after the main lance. So doing it this way, that becomes 10 days, so it's 11 days 
to get the main lance back, and then we're into Warhammer. And then we want Urban Mech last. We don't need that guy right away. We want Phoenix Hawk, Hawk and Firestarter up earlier. Okay, we'll go that route. So I think probably what we'll do, um, how are we doing for contracts left on this planet now? Yeah, there's still a few here, but I think we can move to a new planet at this point. Um, this would not be this would be nice for a uh, four skull, but I'm sure we're going to be finding lots of these in the next next few planets we go to. We got a good variety here, so um, how long are we going to be here? Pass the financial report for sure before our next mission. So let's find something close we can go to. Yeah, these guys are like good deal away here. So what I'll do is I'll find a planet that's close by between episodes, and I'll get our main lance back up and running. Um, with any luck, the the Warhammer will be up very very shortly, and we can uh, redo the Bushwhacker into the um, the Warhammer, um, and we'll get that running. And then we'll see about our second lance and see how that's doing. Maybe we can move the Bushwhacker back down into there, and and uh, maybe load it up with some missile racks or something. That kind of be that would kind of be cool. All right. So um, yeah, we're gonna leave it as here for today. Um, if you like the episode, please drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And if you've got any comments, please drop them in the comment section below. And until next time, we'll see you all later.